if something goes wrong, it can be a bit of a challenge to undo and get back into your account if you maybe get stuck somewhere. And so you wanna be really careful with this process. Can you merge two email addresses? More context, I'm changing the name of the business after 12 years. I wanna change my email account to the new email address and have the old one set up as an alias. Great question, Sarah. So we cover this a lot on the channel. If you search for like changing brand or multiple domains, you'll find lots of videos on it. But I would like to cover this for you again, just to make sure that it makes sense for you. So let me jump into my screen here. So if you're looking to change an email address and you're rebranding your business and you're looking to switch domain names inside Google Workspace, the easiest way to do that is to go straight into the admin panel. Inside the admin panel, we want to go to our domains. So you first go to the account menu and then to domains. And you'll see here, oops, we want to go to manage domains. And what that gives us is a list of all the different domains. Now, let's say as an example, I want to add a new domain for my new brand. I would go ahead and add the new domain. And if I want to be able to change that to the primary domain at some point in the future, then I would choose secondary domain option here rather than user alias domain. That's important. Okay, cool. So you would add it and you can see here, I've got a number of different domains here. So we've got .asia, that one is set up as an alias domain right now. .com.au also set up as an alias domain, but .co.uk is set up as a secondary domain. So that one's ready for me to change into my new brand. Now I can click the change primary domain button and, okay, I don't know why it's saying I can't, maybe because I'm a partner, <laughs> but usually you can just click one button and change your primary domain and that will allow you to switch into one of your secondary domains. Now, a word of warning when you do this, some things may not work properly temporarily and some things may not work properly for longer periods of time when you change this. It changes a number of back-end things in your Google account. And so my recommendation for this is if you want to change your primary domain, you head along to IT Genius and you have our team facilitate this for you. It costs you a couple hundred bucks for a product we call a quick fix. It's a one-time fee and we will manage this process for you. We will make sure from start to finish that everything has been managed effectively for your transition, just to make sure nothing goes wrong. Because sometimes you may lose access to files, you may lose access to accounts. If something goes wrong, it can be a bit of a challenge to undo and get back into your account if you maybe get stuck somewhere. And so you wanna be really careful with this process. And my strong recommendation is, is that you get third party support and third party help from a professional. But if you wanna have a go yourself and you're ready to rock and roll, that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to switch into the secondary domain and what's going to immediately happen there is your users are going to change and so in your user accounts i'm going to go into my accounts here directory and then users here for each person may as well open up myself by default i'm going to have my own email address obviously so by default, I'm going to have my primary email address. And from there, I'm going to have a number of aliases that I've set up that all work on my primary domain name. Also, I will have any other domain names that have been created, like itgenius.com.au, like itgenius.asia, which are going to work for all of these email addresses. Oh, here we go. Show all alternative emails. There we go. So you can see .com.au works as well. Now, if I was to change the domain name for the whole account, right? If I went to manage domains and I changed the domain name for my whole account to itgenius.co.uk using the change primary domain feature, what would happen is Peter's primary email would become peter at itgenius.co.uk and automatically I would receive the itgenius.com, my old brand, my old domain name automatically that would be added as an alternative email. And it would show up here in this list of alternative emails and I could modify it. I could choose to have it or to not have it. And that would actually show up there. So Google does that automatically. They make the brand change very, very easy. The challenge is, is that many people will start this process and they sign up for a fresh Google Workspace account with the new brand. And so what happens is they end up with two separate Google Workspace accounts. They've got the old brand, 
and they've got the new brand and then all of a sudden you have two mailboxes and two separate workspace accounts. You can't unfortunately bring them together or merge them with one button. What you need to do is actually run a migration. You need to migrate probably from the new one into the old one is the easiest because there would be less data in the new one. But you have to bring those two accounts together. And when you bring those two accounts together, then you can put these domains together. Now, if you're stuck in that mess and you've got two different accounts, you're probably best to chat to our consulting team. There'll be a link down below this video. You can book in a free consultation and a team will give you a quote on what it looks like to manage that process of migrating those and adding them in together. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.